America's uh, middle part. What is this? This is Civil War, I believe. And then this is a no, this is Civil War, and then this is modern day. And so, <laughs> and so this is modern day. And so each one of these uh, iron chambers basically portray American history at one point in time of like beginning, middle, and full current. And so you have things like Paul Revere, the Boston Massacre, Bunker Hill, Tom Paine, Minutemen, George, and then of course in the big middle, you have the Declaration of Independence. And you get to a little bit of the um, manifest, manifest destiny towards the end of the bottom over here. And you have all the colonization up at the top. Um, we can go over here, and of course in the middle you see of Abraham Lincoln and the Civil War, where you have the North and South of here. Well, I guess the Face the camera. Well, this is the north of here. You have Sherman and Grant. And over here you have Jackson and Lee, preferably. Um, Where's the Ku Klux Klan? Oh yeah, it's so funny because the history department always gives tours, and of course they're always done by white guys. And they're always just like, yep, and the Ku Klux Klan is in here. Moving on. And they're just like, <laughs> and obviously, especially in recent days, the black cadets are just like, why is the Ku Klux Klan here? Like you said, you're like, why is the Ku Klux Klan? And they're like, well, they wanted to tell the story of all of history, so they got the Ku Klux Klan in there. Where is it? Uh, it's somewhere in here, I know that. There's also, they also have Dred Scott. Oh, there he is. Dred Scott, John Brown, Uncle Tom's Cabin. Uh, plantation slavery of the South. Yeah, they got that in there. Um, except it's on the southern side, so it makes sense. You have who's this thing somewhere in here? Maybe over there. Oh, William Lloyd Gary. I didn't get it. Oh, every year the history department, because every year the history department takes people up here, they give the whole lecture and speech. Because if you come here, it's going to be much more than the one I'm giving you right now. And every single year, naturally, the white cadets are like, why is there the Ku Klux Klan right here? <laughs> and it's really awkward because the history historian has to try to explain. They're just like, well, we want to include all of history in the portraits. And it's also weird. It's like, okay, but why the Ku Klux Klan? I'm like, <laughs> out here on the table. Like, it's just an odd mission because they're like, you have William Lloyd Garrison, uh, Ocella, you have. There's a miscellaneous there, who's like their, um, what this building is named after. And then you have, um, Dred Scott up here, and you have, <laughs> it's just an odd place, man. It's very weird for it to be there. Well, the awkward part is that it's clear it was put there as, like, in the same way that there is put here. It's like, yeah, and the placement's also weird. And Susan B. Anthony, these are supposed to be good things. And then you have the Ku Klux Klan here, and it's just, like, kind of like, yeah, but this was commissioned like I think the 1960s. Walter Reed you have right there. It was definitely not in pre-racial America, though pre-racial America, unfortunately, after this video does not exist. And then you go into modern day and you have World War II in the middle, I believe. Hmm. I don't know what you do, people. <laughs> yeah, because you have nuclear fission and then liberty. Yeah, so this would have been written just based on what you can see here. World War II, Korean, yeah, this is going in, this was made in the Cold War. Uh, sometime around the Cold War, I said 1960s, 1970s, as the Ku Klux Klan. It's odd. Uh, Booker T. Washington. Oh, I can't get into Booker T. Washington, but his story Where's is Where's Booker? Know. I don't see him. He's right there. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of jokes, historical jokes there, but I'm going to move on. Um, but where is the beautiful boy? There's a lot of jokes there, but I'm not going to start. She is such a history nerd, y'all. We have women's suffrage. They didn't want that. <laughs> Wait, so, uh, but that's what I'm un not understanding. Are they putting this up here as a good, or like, are these supposed to be good people or yes. bad people? We have the Great Eastern. Uh, so the surrounding people are supposed to be good, like, people. They were made in the crisis, or large historical events that matter. And it's required in labor unions. You see how it's, yeah, this is, this is made by a southerner, you can tell. Cause they're trying to hit on northern slavery and that top thing, but it's like, northern slavery is literally a dog also for southerners. Let me just show you guys the whole thing, because the whole thing is beautiful, but when you get into it, you start to see. Yeah, there's actually a lot of issues with this, uh, yeah, just some stuff you kind of don't want to see. But this is what you walk past every time you walk into there. Yeah, most of don't even look at it. And there's the entrance to the third floor. All right, this is outside of there.
right across from there is going to be the library that's this tall building right here it's clearly closed it's supposed to be really pretty at Jefferson night library every time i see the tom Jefferson statue and no one else is around I uh we're not putting that <laughs> And so another part of the West Wing history tour that they're going to give you is that this is actually the first cannon fired during the Civil War. And that over there is the last cannon fired during the Civil War. <laughs> and people walk by these cannons every day and no one even notices. You can just touch Me, them. guys. I'm one of those people. <laughs> this is outside of Bartlett Hall, like across from the library. This is the library. Ooh, that looks so pretty. This is the library, and then this is across um, at Barlett Hall, and then that's there over there where those lights are. And then you have this gate. This gate is new. This gate was not always here when I was a plebe, but they just put it up, I guess, for security reasons, for higher security reasons. And one thing you might not know, you see them watering the grass right now, is that, I don't know if you'll be able to see me. The West Point grass is the second most expensive lawn. I believe it's the plain, but it's the mo second most expensive lawn in America. That? It's a giant moth. That is scary. Wait. Don't go that way, then it's gonna come this way. Yeah, this moth it literally can't see us. He's wet, that's why he can't fly away. She's literally always trying to touch a bug. No! Wait, let me put a light on it. Should we help her? Okay. But the plane is the second most expensive lawn, second to second to the White House, I believe. You can fact check me on that. Honestly, don't believe anything you see in this video. Always fact check it for yourself. I'm just telling you, this tour is really just from a cadet's lens. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Stay safe, our friends. Guardian of the grass. Oh, she's so soft. <laughs> she's tickling me, Jasmine. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she was starting to feel really weird. Anyways, let's go. 